got the Red Dog. They'll be defending against the Firebird. I'm Dan Stevens. I'll be calling the game. And as always, Peter O'Keefe will deliver the color. Okay, let's do a rundown with the all-pro talent in today's game. Billy Joe Dupree and Joe Delamalur head up the attack for the Firebirds. Well, these two stars playing side-by-side -side present a real problem for defenses. One star is often enough to change a game, but two stars? Well, that's how things get out of hand. They'll have their hands full with a top-notch opponent, Ron Mix and Dante Lovelli. Get it done for the Red Dogs. Here are two stars that define a team and make it so much more than just a mere collection of players. And besides, look at the rest of the players on this list. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, Peter, thanks. Now let's go down to the coin toss. This is it. I'll be Jenner. The Firebirds will make the selection. What is the call? Give us heads. Heads it is. We'll kick. The Firebirds have won the toss and select a kick. Shoreage boots it downfield and we're underway. Hilliard is coming out with it. Stop at the 25. Dalton Hilliard got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Red Dogs will begin the drive at their own 25-yard line. Then Pell hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. and four wideouts in the game. him to drop the ball. Incomplete. Third down, right. 10 yards to go.
Landry throws a heat of the line and the reception is made. It is, however, short of the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and they're going for it. The Red Dogs want to talk it over, and they take their first time out. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. <laughs> Rosa from 28 yards out, and they take the lead. Rosa has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. Rosa boots the heck out of this one. Warren decides to take it out of the end zone. <laughs> The 19. Chris Warren got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Firebirds send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 19 yard line. good for six. Lynn Dickey threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. They move the ball and it will be second down. the pass right to the at the 42 and he's stopped right there he picks up 18 yards on the play first down firebirds first and 10 ball at the 33 yard This one will fall incomplete. R.W. Givens snuck across the middle that time, but could not make a play on the ball. A nice throw down the field, but they can't reel it in. That would have been a big play and a big first down. Yeah, they had it. Just didn't go their way this time. Second down oh. with two tight ends to the right. forward for seven. Chris Warren got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Johnson makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Come on, 
D. Desire, baby. Desire. Aggie gets ready to plunder the way. the snap and punts it away. The Red Dogs came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own two-yard line. Gordon will get stopped with the line, and that will bring up second down. Scotty Elbert would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Warner gets the call again, and heads up right. Locked down hard at the 14. This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great jump off the line. He was in fifth gear before the defense could even react. Motored for some easy yards. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Thirteen. David Lloyd read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Great. Second and eleven from Roy Red Dog. Thirteen yard line. Landry puts his and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Dante Lovella gets there to reel in the catch despite being double covered. What do you have to do to intimidate this guy? Well, he never takes his eye off the ball, Dan, even as he's bracing for the hit. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Warner catches it in the flat and is at the 35, and he's stopped right there. Great. Second and eight. Ball at the 36 yard. Warner takes it for his fifth carry and heads wide left, stopped at the 40. Kurt Warner, a terrific and frankly dangerous juke move, Dan. I don't want to say you put yourself in a vulnerable position there, but if the tackler rises up at the wrong time, you'll be singing different parts in the church choir. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, three wideouts in the game. First down. First down, let go. First and ten. Warner. 
Warner will get the carry on first down. Heads up field. The 25, 15. No one in front of him. Kurt Warner will get yards on you any way he can. Watch how he dodges trouble. A fantastic play, Peter. So perfectly done. You think it was almost choreographed. Yeah, it looks like he took some dance lessons. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 66 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and it's good. It's a boomer down the field. Warren decides to take it out of the end zone. Bang down at the 20. Chris Warren took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Firebirds, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Warren gets the toss and goes to the traffic, stopped at the 23. Warren with the kick, a pickup of three on the play. Keller with the tackle. Second and six from the fire guard. Dickey throws a heater. It's caught at the 33, and he stopped right there. First down. Ten yards on the play. First down, Firebird. Lynn Dickey throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down with the tight end right. Second down. Eric Fields read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Eric Fields didn't get a finger laid on him as he swooped in for the sack. Can you believe that? Well, it's as if the entire uh, offensive line stepped aside and just let him pass. Yeah, the sack couldn't have been easier if there was one of those airport runway guys with the signal flares in them guiding the defense in. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Marshall gets the sack way back at the 25. It'll be fourth down. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Jim Marshall will have to come out of the game. It was hard to tell exactly what happened. Aguio gets ready to punt it away. Aguilar takes 
the long snap and punts it away. Lavelle catches it at the 37. Tackled at the 40. Dante Lavelle didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Red Dogs take the field, and they have had some big running plays. We'll see if another one is in the works. We'll start at their 40-yard line. and forces the incompletion. Thomas Wilson knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Great. Second and 10 from your red dog, 40 yards. The 38. Brad Van Pelt read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Third and 11 from Low Red Dog, 38 yards. Turner sacks him back at the 34. It'll be fourth down. Justin Turner gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. They pushed him back even farther, and Peter, could this fourth down get any oh. longer? <laughs> well, theoretically, yeah, but it's plenty long enough already. Well, gets the ball and punts it away. Carter fields the punt at the 23. Stop at the 29. The special teams ain't too special, huh? The Firebirds have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 29-yard line. Morgan punches this one left of center and half line left. Chase down at the 44. Dan, this is really a tremendous run here. It all starts with getting up to speed extremely fast before the D can really get it together. The blocking helps him get a little momentum going, and then he's smart enough to make the right running choices downfield. Oh, he's so dangerous when he busts loose like that. A highlight real play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down, both tight ends left. It on the left side, and he's on target for a gain of five. Injury on the field. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Anthony Carter can't help but go down after that. He's a resilient player, but this will sideline him. Keep on growing. If we can't stop him here, we got problems. 
Throws a heater right sideline and it's complete. Short of the markers, however, that will bring up fourth down. R.W. Givens ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. They get some yards out of that play, but they are short. Yeah, didn't get quite the punch they wanted to. Aggie gets ready to punt it away. the snap and punts it away. Here we go, guys. Double week stretch. Let's do it. Break. The Red Dogs offense comes out backed up against their own goal line. They will start at their own six yard line. Warren gains three yards and that brings up second down. Second and six. Ball at the nine yard line. Stacker makes the catch on the right sideline, and that's a game of seven on the play. Leonard Stecker must have been pretty lonely out there on his own, but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket, if you will. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Warner will down and converts the third down. First down, Red Dogs. First and ten. Warner makes a tough catch, and he's looking for room. Lane tackles him for a short loss. Troy Lane got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Red Dogs enjoying the lead 10 to nothing. Jason Caldwell is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skills. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, two wideouts on the field. Field, brought down at the 48. 
recover the ball. Brad Van Pelt rattles the ball carrier's cage there, so much so that the football comes loose. And then since he isn't the one who just got his bell rung, he's alert enough to recover the fumble. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big-time play. The Firebirds haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their 48-yard line. Warren picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Marshall had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now we've gotten word on his condition. Peter? The trainers have told us that he's broken his finger. They are fitting him with a brace as quickly as possible, but with time running low, it appears unlikely that he'll be able to return. Well, we'll hope for the best. Thanks, Peter. Lamar makes the catch out to the left and is well past the markers for a first down. Gain of 18 yards on the play. First down, Firebird. Lynn Dickey found a hole in the defense. Let's look at this again because this is what you need out of your passer. Oh, he sees the opportunity and drives the ball home. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 59 yards and no interceptions. First down from the eye. Throws the pass and he connects at 17. Finally stopped at the seven. It'll be first and goal. First down, Firebirds. This is an aerial assault, man. Woo! First and goal. Takes it across the line and gets the touchdown. Chris Warren finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. That touchdown will bring them within striking distance of the lead. Yeah, big points, Dan. They did exactly what they needed to there. Sure, he's back for the point after. O'Brien will hold the kick. the point after and it's good the point is good It's a boomer down the field. Hilliard is coming out with it. Tackled at the 26. Dalton Hilliard took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Red Dogs fumbled the ball away last time. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time as they start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Walker tackles in for a short loss. Franklin Walker targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. You ain't playing like yourself today. We need to pick it up. I need some help, man. I can't do it by myself. All right. Second and ten. Ball at the 25 yard. And 
forces the incompletion. Thomas Wilson couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Third down from the shotgun. Uncorks this to the left sideline, and the reception is made for first and more. 25, 15, high, Dante Lavelli is going to make a great run after the catch. Oh, there, he snags the football, then fires up the Jets. That's big-time talent. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. point after and it's good. Warren decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 24. Chris Warren got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Firebirds must feel like they need to score this time out. This drive will start at their own 24-yard line. was shaken up earlier and we've gotten a report on his condition. What did they say, Peter? We've gotten some info from the trainers and they said that his forearm is in quite a bit of pain. They are tending to him as we speak, but from the looks of it, it may take a while. It's unclear whether he will be able to get back into this one. Thanks, Peter. just rifles this one finally dropped at the 45 he picks up 16 yards on the play first down firebirds Chris Warren really delivers on this play let's take another look first at the catch there it is but he's not done he's gonna make his way forward for extra yards oh he's a go-to guy for sure he did a good job getting his hands around the football and then he Where's just he took off ball? with it yeah he's not running any tricky patterns but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to Warren dodges this <laughs> and picks up the first down Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 51 yards on eight carries. Give 
Never. Right side, and that's a gain of seven on the play. R.W. Givens had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Fourth down. Jim Marshall read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his third tackle of the game. Aggie gets ready to punt it away. Aggie gets the snap and punts it away. Let the puck bounce for a touchback. Tomorrow Aguiar saw his kid go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. We have to make a statement on this series. First and ten from your red dog, 20 yards. Landry throws a heater right side line and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Dante Lavella didn't have anybody on him and yet he couldn't make the catch. Peter, if they had completed that, it would have brought them to within falling distance of the first down. They may have gotten it in too. There was some room to roam. Second down. Second and 10 from Will Redgar, 20 yards. Six. Levi Martin threw three men on the D, but is still able to make the catch. Way to find the hole, settle in, and make a great catch. It's about time. Three incompletions in a row before they finally connect. Now, perseverance can be both a blessing and a curse. They finally got that one to him, but boy, did it take some effort. for his 11th carry and gets taken down well short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Solomon Wilcox targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got six tackles. Bidwell lines up to punt after the three and out. Bidwell gets the snap and hits a beauty. Warren fields the deep punt at the 28. Lock down at the 37. Chris Warren returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of Warren piece. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Firebirds had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 37-yard line. Warren will get the handoff and makes up a couple. Chris Warren didn't get very far on that last play. And he even had to help us in blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan. But they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and nine. Pickup should be no problem for us. 
Lynn Dickey dissected the double coverage with a pass that was prettier than a stadium full of cheerleaders. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Back gets the sack, way back at the 44. Ryan Bass drops the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second down, one man down. Throws a bullet to the flat and caught at the 46. Eventually shoved out at the 45. James Hemmings makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. Nice gain, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. <laughs> Third and long. Nothing to sneeze at with that game, Dan. These guys are the complete rushing package, and they'll run it on you all day if you let them. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 69 yards on 13 carries. yards on this play this is a formidable rushing game Dan that was his second rushing touchdown of the day not a bad day at the office so far <laughs> that's typical production for him Dan he's that kind of player sure he's back for the point after O'Brien on the hold Here's the extra point, and it's good. it away. Dalton Hilliard got the ball in the end zone and had a big run out of it. Saying no to the touchback was a risk, Dan, but it paid off.
The Red Dogs take the field and will start out at their own 27-yard line. Warner gets the call on first down and heads up field. Dragged down at the 36. Kurt Warner played it smart back there by following his blockers and that allowed him to make some good yards. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Brad Van Pelt would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his third tackle of the game. All right, big play. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. I hope they come at us the same way. Oh. Second and 11 from Will Red Dog, 40 yards. John Anderson read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. You're not going anywhere. moment to scramble back there and it worked out. First down, red dog. First down, oh, no. tight end to the left. Hauls him down in the backfield and the clock continues to run. Second and 14. Ball at 47 yards. Warren, the Red Dogs will take a timeout. That's their second. Don't worry, man. I'm gonna get it turned around. Go takes them even farther away from the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Bidwell gets ready to punt it away.
Bidwell takes the snap and hits a beauty. Warren takes it at the 18. Bang down at the 21. The Firebirds take the field with the clock at eight. Small lead, 17 to 14. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Let's take a look at our halftime stats, and boy, oh boy, the numbers look pretty even right across the board. The Red Dogs, therefore, find themselves in a tight ball game. Anything can happen in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Landry is going to take this one to the outside, and once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. That set up a 29-yard field goal. The Red Dogs get the first points of the game and go up by three. The Firebirds, still early in the first. Dickey connected with his van on this one. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards, and they had to punt it away. Midway through the first, the Red Dogs leading by three. Warner is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground, and he makes the most of this one. They're now up by ten. The Firebirds, end of the first quarter. Warren would make the first guy miss, and then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. The Firebirds down ten to nothing. Lloyd would snuff out a drive on this one as he's there to recover the fumble. Still in the second quarter, the Firebirds with possession at the seven yard line. Warren got the carry here and he was able to break through. A seven yard touchdown for the visitors. Later on in the second quarter, the Red Dogs out in front by three. Lavelli came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. They move ahead by ten. The Firebirds still early in the second quarter. Warren ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. The Firebirds down 17 to seven. Warren would make the first guy miss, and then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. A 33-yard touchdown for the visitors. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Red Dogs are holding on to a lead, 17 to 14. All right, Dan, nice work. The Firebirds will recede to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down 17 to 14. Now, let's get to the game. it and the second half is underway. Warren decides to take it out of the end zone. Oh! 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 The 22. Chris Warren got out close to the 20 on that one so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off but it didn't really hurt him either. The Firebirds will start this drive at their own 22 yard line. Dupree catches the bullet out left, and that will be a gain of three yards. Billy Joe Dupree had a defender playing him close, but shook him at the last moment. You can't coach that. These guys make very great targets. Not to mention, it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that bull starts roaming around in that china shop, things get broken pretty fast. Second down, six yards to go. Warren has 
has his number called on second down and gains about three yards. Short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. R.W. Givens ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. Peter, they couldn't get the last few yards they wanted, and now it is fourth down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. Lavelle fields the punt at the 20th. At the 30. You guys don't want to deal with me in the open field. The Red Dogs had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 30-yard line. Takes it for his 17th carry. Picks up eight yards on the play. With the kill. He picks up eight yards on the play. Van Pelt with the tackle. Second and two from no red guard, 38 yards. Run there. He's got great blocking, and that allows him to just pour it on for a monster game. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard, and up to now, he's got 121 yards on 18 carries. Let's go, D. Just like crack. No more easy yards. 20 yards. Lavelle catches a left side and is well past the markers for a first down. He picks up 16 yards on the play. Dante Lavelle works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. First down, goal to go. First and goal. Well, we got an excellent running tandem in the backfield, Dan. Watch out for them here. Warner will get the carry on first down. And gets in for the score. Let's get more. Come on. These short runs are not as easy as they look, Dan. The D knows just where you want to get to, so kudos to this offense for getting there. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. <laughs> That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. Extra point, and it's good. Rosa boots 
the heck out of this one. Warren is coming out with it. Ah! Tackle at the 22. Chris Warren got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Firebirds, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 22-yard line. Johnson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You hey. bet. So far, he's got nine tackles. Quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. Peter, he has put the hurt on the quarterback in this contest. You've got that right. So far, he's got two tackles and two sacks. Cochran just nails the quarterback on this play behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, Dan, that was a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. That will be their fifth sack of the day, and they have been simply relentless so far. Dan, they haven't let up all game, and that's what you want. Somebody whose motor never stops. it away. Lavelli makes a fair catch at the 48. The Red Dogs come out on offense and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their 49-yard line. it in the that will be a game of three yards. Kurt Warner must have been pretty lonely out there on his own, but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket, if you will. Time and time again, he makes a fantastic option of himself coming out of the backfield. Well, there are some runners that just have a knack for the passing game, and this guy's got it. up the first down. First down. And they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, two receivers to the left. Lloyd makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. David Lloyd can't quite get position for the interception, but he does manage to swat it off course. Quick hands. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Let's make sure we keep him out of field goal range here. Baby. Second and ten from the fire yard. Yeah. 
Landry lets it go down to the side and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Levi Martin has some company on this play, but he still makes the catch. That's good concentration and focus. It's worth another look. Oh, maybe they should have triple covered him there. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. Punches him down for a big loss back at the 27. Greg Landry loses the ball temporarily on this play. He's able to get it back himself, but they lose some ground on that play. The fumble was temporary, but the damage was permanent. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Of a bitch what is wrong with me david lloyd bags the ball after his teammate tips it his way that's great coordinated d nice pick i'm not saying they practiced that in preseason but i did see some volleyball nets around training camp boy that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game yeah you gotta love d like that the firebirds are going to try and capitalize on the interception they'll start this drive at their own six yard line Goes right up the middle and picks up a couple. Of the pick. Gain of two yards on the pick. Johnson credited with the tackle. Hey. Second and seven. Brings up first down. Lynn Dickey goes a little off script here with a scramble, but he makes it work. That's some nice yardage there. You need a QB who can think on his feet like that. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down from the eye. We'll get the carry on first down and rambles for about five. The pick up of five on the play. Johnson with the tackle. Great. Second and four. Pepper Johnson read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Another tackle, and he's literally left his mark on people so far. <laughs> yep, big black and blue marks, Dan. DeMar catches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Ten yards on the point. First down, Firebirds. Macy DeMar is wondering if he slipped into the twilight zone or something because the coverage is in another dimension. Oh, sad recognition by the defense. Somebody has got to step up on that side of the ball. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Tosses it down the left side. Picks up the 49, and 
and he stopped right there. R.W. Givens took on three defenders and still came away with the football. Oh, insane. This is a big halftime adjustment by the coaching staff. After picking away in the first, they come out of the tunnel, launching heat. Yeah, if they can connect on a few more of those, watch out. Warlock chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. He picks up four yards on the punt. Curry with the tackle. Second and seven. From Dickey tosses it deep down the left side. The catch is made at the 14, and he's stopped right there. First down. First down, Firebirds. Lynn Dickey launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. Well, I, I don't know if any defensive adjustments were made at halftime, Peter. I sure can't tell. <laughs> this quarterback just knows how to make everyone play his game. In his third great quarter, he's still forcing the D to play by reaction, Dan, which takes control right out of their hands. Billy Joe Dupree gets open and gets the football for a gain there. Watch this again. He is wide open. The defense clearly fell apart on that one. Well, you can't leave anyone that open in pro football or they will make you pay. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Well, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. the point after and it's good the point is good Decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackling that for 23. Dalton Hilliard took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Red Dogs were intercepted last time up. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 23 yard line. Warner gets the hand on the hand. Shoes up about four on the play. Lane has four yards on the play. Lane has with the tackle. Okay, coach wants this one. Double weak stretch. Let's make it count. Break. Seven and five. Ball at 27 yards. Makes a great run here, but the design run is far from foolproof. It's risky, but it's a lot easier when you've got such great blocking up front. Yeah, you don't want your quarterback smashing and bashing for yards. You want him to have a smooth ride all the way. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 148 yards on 23 carries. Landry lets it go here. And he's 
stop right there. First down. Dante Lavelli easily beats the double team to the spot and the football. Perfect synchronization on that play. Dan, you know, the receiver who can outfight two defenders for the football will make almost any quarterback look good. He has definitely made his presence downfield today. That's his third rabbit out of the hat. Yep, and if you're in coverage, you simply cannot allow him to abuse you that way. Second and eight. Look alive on this one. 30 yard. Warren takes across the line and screens up to the game close to six. Kurt Warner played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Warner gets the ball on third down and... Scotty Elbert has planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But, you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. That's his second tackle so far. Fourth down and less than a yard. from 39 yards out and puts it down. It's good. Lou Groza knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his match, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. one. Warren is coming out with it. Stop at the 21. Chris Warren took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Firebirds got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 21-yard line. Johnson makes the hit in the backfield at the 20. Pepper Johnson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got 14 tackles. Dupree makes the catch on the right side of the and is at the 30, hunted down at the 31. First down. 11 on the play. First down, Firebirds. Lynn Dickey found a hole in the defense. Let's look at this again because this is what you need out of your passer. Oh, he sees the opportunity and drives the ball home. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 229 yards and one touchdown. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Red Dogs are out in front, 27 to 21. Dickey zings 
it three times, and the reception's made at the 39, and he stopped right there. Second and one. to sneeze out with that game, Dan. These guys are the complete rushing package, and they'll run it on you all day if you let them. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 126 yards on 24 carries. First down with the tight end right. Warren loses two, and that will bring up second down. Up, baby great tackle oh yeah I'm feeling good now Let's go. Hemmings had a defender closing in, but was still able to haul that one in. Great execution. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Tips it to the left sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Alfonso Sotolovich is all thumbs. That one bounced right out of the mix. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it, it really hurts. Aggie winds up for the punt. it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Oh, no, Aguiar saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Red Dogs came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 20-yard line. The 19. Josh Reyes got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his third tackle of the game. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Hell yeah, brother. Franklin Walker anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Third down and four wideouts in the game. the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers but you know Dan the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale
Bidwell right. lines up to Bidwell punt Bidwell after the three and out. Bidwell gets the ball and hits a beauty. Warren gives the deep pop at the 32. Tackled at the 36. Shouldn't even try to bring that one back. Throw it to The Firebirds bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their 36-yard line. Warren takes it off the toss and passes the line. One man feet finally stopped at the 42. First down. Dan, check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard, and up to now, he's got 146 yards on 26 carries. Justin Kelly understands his responsibilities in this zone that causes the incomplete pass. Excellent awareness and close on the football. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Throws this on a and this caught just barely past the markers for a first. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Holding number 52. Dexter Stokes held his man on that play, and hey, you can't do that. That was offensive holding any day of the week. My man here is a quarterback's worst nightmare. I smell blood, man. I wanted him. the markers for a first down. 26 yards in the point. First down, Firebirds. Lynn Dickey couldn't look the defenders off the ball on this one. Here's an example of one guy making a play against several. Oh, it was close, but his receiver made a positive play on it. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. First and ten. Throws a bullet to the flat and is bobbled and dropped incomplete. You guys ain't got game! Go time! Second and ten. it for the 27th time and it's just past the line but not by much before being brought
locked down. Chris Warren used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. Backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. Peter, with that stop, they have pushed them out of field goal range. Oh, what a big play. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Boots it from 49 yards out and has it sailed just left of the upright. Jeff Shorridge misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Red Dogs, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 39-yard line. Warden chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. defense let's look at this again because this is what you need out of your passer oh he sees the opportunity and drives the ball home another terrific throw and completion this team is piling up serious yardage and putting consistent pressure on the defense consistency 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 even into the fourth quarter if they keep this up then they'll have this game locked down sounded almost shakespearean almost Landry throws it from the outside and he connects at the 18 and he's stuck right there. All right, all right. I like it. Keep it moving. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Double weak stretch. All out here. Break. Break. Kurt Warner gains a lot on this play, but it wasn't all him. Watch. Yep, he owes everything to those blockers, baby. They cleared the path for him. Peter, while he's used to being in the end zone, this is a great day even for him. I love it. What a player. and it's good. Rosa booms one downfield. 
Warren is coming out with it. Tackle at the 24. Chris Warren took it out of the end zone. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. First We're going on a march here, fellas. From the Firebirds, 24 yards. Warren gets the call on first down and gains about three yards. Second and seven. Third down, one man down. Third and six. Take him down before he got to the markers, but whew, it was close. They only need a couple here. Close buckle down, guys. Let's go. it away. Lavelli gets it at the 24. Tackle at the 33. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Holding number 18. Defense. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Andre Benoit clearly held his man back there. Offensive holding was the right call. The Red Dogs got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 23-yard line. Gains 10 yards on the play, and that brings up first down. This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great jump off the line. He was in fifth gear before the defense could even react. Motored for some easy yards. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 188 yards on 30 carries. some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third and 
long, baby. Let's get this ball back. Five on the play clock. Warner. The ball down and gets taken down well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Solomon Wilcox shut down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. Bidwell gets ready to punt it away. Bidwell takes the long snap and hits a beauty. Warren fields the deep punt at the 17. Back down at the 19. Chris Warren got pulled deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Firebirds will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at two minutes. the first the clock continues to tick down Dickey throws this one over the middle it's complete the Firebird take their first time out Macy DeMar had three guys covering him but look what happens Incredible catch. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. Didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. James Hemmings executed a nice little hook on that last one, but he couldn't bring the ball in incomplete. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second down. The clock is stopped at 137. They got too far to go. Stopping them should be nothing. Third down, 12 yards to go. James Hemmings has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. Here they connect with him again. That's the second deep ball he's grabbed today. Well, without an adjustment in that secondary, Dan, I guarantee you he's going to come back for more. Rifles it out left side and it's tipped. Incomplete. Jerome Kerr came in and got a hand on that football. He left no chance for a reception there. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Go time. 
Second and ten. the defender. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, mm. and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Third down. The clock is stopped at 119. Why that pass went nowhere. Peter in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Keep the intensity. Don't let him get it. Come on. You gotta stop him here. You gotta stop him here. Fourth down, oh. and they're going for it. off a big fourth and long. Jackson and the clock will continue to run. Second down and they line up for their 11th play of the drive. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground and it's incomplete. James Hemmings has this one in his hands and then oh, drops it. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him and his quarterback hopes it's his last. takes a knee and that will do it and that is going to do it for this one, the Red Dogs come out on top, 34 to 21. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Warner is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground, and he makes the most of this one. A 42-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Red Dogs now up by 10. Midway through the third, all at the 24. Lloyd shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. After getting an interception, 
the Firebirds down by 10. Dickey is back looking for his tight end this time, and he's going to find him. They climb back again and are now down by 5-3. By the Red Dogs answer right back. Landry would find his target on this one. That set up a 40-yard field goal. The Red Dogs up 27-21. Warren would let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. The Red Dogs back on offense after a missed field goal already in the red zone. Warner would find an opening here and he was off. A 17-yard touchdown for the home team. Late into the fourth quarter, the Firebirds back by 13. Dickey would drop back and deliver a strike on this one, and that will do it. The Red Dogs come away with a win, 34 to 21. Let's take a moment to recognize the 2K Sports player of the game. Kurt Warner left no doubt as to why he's one of the greats. What a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.